guys? Sam, I'm back with another Pennywise figure. I scored twice, man. I got my 1990 version from Amazon. GameStop called me and told me this one came in today. So I went, picked them up at GameStop, and now I'm here doing a review. This is the GameStop exclusive 2017 I Love Dairy Ultimate Pennywise figure. Now, First things first, this is an expensive figure, guys. This is priced at, I think, $34.95 or $35.95, and that is way overpriced for this ultimate figure because this does not come with really any accessories that are, like, you know, worth the price. But either way, it's Pennywise. I love it. I have to get it. So we got the cover right here, the box cover, and this is a lenticular cover, which is pretty cool. So you can see it does, the, it does have I Love Dairy. You can see Pennywise holding the balloon, kind of like the poster, and then you have a really cool image of Pennywise right there, you know, when you flip it around. It says You'll Flow 2, there's It, again, lenticular cover. GameStop exclusive sticker on the side, you have It, and it's got the, you know, the, the, the old newspaper uh, pullouts or whatever. On the back right here is different poses that you can get Pennywise in. I like how it's on the missing, pit, uh, missing uh, newspaper ads there. So you have uh, different you know, ways you can display Pennywise. It does read right over here. Two interchangeable heads, two pairs of hands, one balloon, and a severed arm. So that's kind of, I don't know. I think it should have either came with more accessories or this, all this stuff should have been included in the previous Ultimate. I mean, that's my opinion. Um, so there's a little bit of a read-up right over here. You open this up in the Velcro flap. You have a really cool image of Pennywise right there on the left. And then here is the open window that reveals Pennywise. And I'm not gonna lie, he does look good though. So that's it for the packaging. On the top, I love dairy, so that's pretty cool. Let's open him up and let's take a close look at Pennywise. And we're gonna see if this guy's a pickup or a pass and if it's an improvement from the previous one. accessories that Pennywise does come with and some of them are the same as the previous Ultimate. So we get this version of Pennywise. Now the other Ultimate that came out had this same exact head sculpt. Obviously this one's painted a little bit different. This one looks 10 times better than the previous one. The other one didn't have like the painted gums and the blood. Um, so this one is a big, big improvement. I think the detailing right here on the forehead is a little bit different as well. I have it in the uh, in my uh, bin with all the other accessories, but look at this. The eyes look a lot better. The mouth is what really looks uh, you know, better than the previous one as well. The paint applications on this is a lot better. So this did improve, and I love how they added the little spots of blood on the forehead. Yeah, the blood looks great on this. And then there's the, uh, the hair, so the sculpting on the hair. So this head sculpt looks 10 times better. I like this one a lot. You get the same hands that you get on the other one too, the open hands but these ones have blood on the fingertips, so you can see that right there. So he's got blood on the hands, on the fingertips. You get the severed arm, which looks to be like Georgie's arm right here, so you can see there's the, uh, the blood, a little bit of bones there, and then he's got the raincoat jacket, and you can see his hand here. So that's pretty cool. This is awesome to have this. And we get one balloon again, and this one does read, I love dairy. Pretty cool. Again, it's got the bendy wire, so you guys are pretty familiar with this. So those are all the accessories that we get. Let's go ahead and bring out Pennywise. And here he is, guys. There is Pennywise. This is the GameStop exclusive. Now, this is a new head sculpt, so we didn't get this in the previous um, Ultimate set. I do like this a lot. I think it looks great. I love the blood. It looks pretty movie accurate, to be honest, too. The uh, paint applications, again, looks good. The sculpt looks great. I still, You can see he's kind of grinning right there, and you can see his little buck teeth. The eyes look awesome. So it's, uh, it's a nice head sculpt. I do like this a lot. And then there's the hair, in case you guys want to see a close-up on that. But um, I still think you should have came with another head sculpt, though. Uh, this piece right here, again, it's a soft rubber material. This does have blood on it. The figure overall itself is the same exact figure, okay? We'll do a comparison in a second. I'm not going to go over the articulation or anything because, again, it's the same figure. Now, the hands, they did add blood on the fingertips on these ones as well, so you can see there. And same thing right here, he's got blood on here. And this is where you put the balloon in. And then on the outfit, he's got a little bit of blood throughout the outfit as well. Uh, nothing in the back though, but again, same exact figure, guys. So you're, you know, if you, it, it's, well, I'll get it to my thoughts at the end in a second here. I was, I wanted to see if he suffered from the same issue the other Pennywise had, which is that wonky leg. And it still kind of looks like 
he might but to be honest with you one leg looks taller than the other so yeah yeah one leg is taller than the other so this guy is definitely going to have some issues standing up um if i tilt his body you can see he's he stands a little bit better than the other pennywise but one leg is taller than the other I, you know the quality control with these Pennywise figures, I don't understand what the issue is. The figures are great, but they have these, these quality control issues. Let's go ahead and bring out the other Pennywise. All right, so here they are side by side. Uh, they seem to be the, in the same scale, but again, both of them have the issues with their legs. But the outfits, for the most part, are pretty much the same. But there's the head sculpts right here. Yeah, so everything is pretty much the same. There's no there's no changes in the sculpt again other than the accessories, the accessories that you get for the most part and the blood splattered on the outfit. And then right here we have all three versions of the Pennywise. We got the 1990 Tim Curry, which is still my favorite, and then we have the 2 2017. And you know, I'm not going to lie. I do like the GameStop more than the uh the first release Ultimate. I think it just might be this head sculpt just has me really it's just really nice, but um, this is the best one by far. But as far as mine goes, all three of them suffer from, from uh, leg issues, but um, they're great pieces. So there's a little size comparison and just, you know, side by side of all three versions. So there is my review today. We're taking a look at the brand new NECA Toys GameStop exclusive Ultimate Pennywise the Clown. Now, okay, so let me give you my thoughts overall. I think it's a great figure. Does Do you need it if you already have the Ultimate that came out? You know in retail that's that's honestly how big of a pennywise your fan a fan you are because i'm a big pennywise fan so i had to pick up this figure regardless but for the price i think it's a little bit too expensive and i think they should have came out with more accessories for an ultimate they should have came with at least a few more accessories maybe an another alternate head sculpt i mean don't get me wrong this is cool because it's an improvement from the last one but don't cheap us out and give us the same head sculpt give us Two more different head sculpts. I mean, the 1990 Pennywise came with four head sculpts. That was considered an ultimate to me. These two 2017 Pennywises, I really don't consider ultimates. I think they're just lacking in the accessories. But again, if you're a Pennywise fan like I am, you're still going to pick it up. And I still think it should have came with more balloons. That upside down triangle balloon, sh like that, that set that's in the movie, that should have came in this set. And I'm getting tired of these stringy ones. They should all be glued together. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm just nagging now. But you guys in the comments below, let me know. Is this a pickup or a pass? Thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you guys haven't. We'll see you soon for more reviews. Peace. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends.